All right, I think we are live, guys. I think we are live. Let me catch this over here. When this uh, goes, let's do a microphone check, one, two. Microphone check, one, two. And we are good to go, guys. Well, welcome, everybody. Welcome. Um, I am so glad to have everybody here today. Um, So today, we're going to do... Uh, I planned on doing a little study this week, guys. Um, I was going to do a little uh, Proverbs 28 study. Oh, hey, Justin. Hey, hold on. Let me go catch that little guy right there. All right, guys. Let me add Justin as a moderator. Hey, hey, uh, Asylum two, uh, 200, guys, is my is my nephew, by the way. Uh, how about that? That is so impressive that I've got a nephew coming in here. Uh, uh, watching this. I'm so proud of that, Justin. Uh, welcome. I'm, I'm so glad to see you. All right. So let's, uh, uh, hey, brother Mark. Oh my goodness. I've been missing to see you. Oh goodness. I'm so glad to see you. Hey guys, Enigma. Hey buddy. Okay. So guys, I see everybody in the chat. Let me, let me stay focused. I don't want to ramble too long because I want to get the pertinent inf- information at the beginning of the video today, okay? So just know I'll give everybody a, a short shout out here in a little while. So what we're going to talk about today is how to push back commercial liability. All right, so I have never worn a mask. Uh, I've never intended to wear a mask. Not going to, going to, going to. I have gone to every store, walked in, and I am a bigger guy, whatever. That doesn't matter. Uh, but everywhere I've gone, I've gone strapped and I've tried and what I mean strapped is with recording devices ready to go at any point for anybody who is going to stop me in the exercise of my life, my liberty and my property. Now, now make no mistake about this, guys. The only property that we need to worry about most of the time is the property of your body. We can do attachments and extensions of our land, our house and everything else. But if anybody ever crosses the property uh, uh, threatening this property right here. Uh, that means they have accepted cur- commercial liability. Okay, so we're going to get into this. We're going to discuss this as we go. So let's first, let's bow our heads. Dear Heavenly Father, I want to thank you uh, for blessing uh, our the Sibley family this week with the ability to, to have calm minds, calm nerves, and in the face of adversity, stand strong and be bold as a lion. And allow the the strength of the Spirit to come uh, roaring through and protect us in all our ways. And dear Father, I ask that you anoint this messenger today and let the seed fall on good ground. And let the people out there know that they have power. They've just forgotten it. In your precious son's name we pray. Hey, look guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a video for y'all. And I'm going to do commentary as we go through it, okay? So... Let me put that up, okay? And let's do that. Share screen. Like that. Share. All right, guys. So, we have gone to 100 different stores. I don't know. Uh, But the purpose of today is to teach you uh, how to protect your rights and how to do them correctly. Last week after the video, I had Glenn... Uh, Glenn Clark, there was two other ladies telling me that they were being forced to wear masks everywhere they went. No, they were complying with wearing the mask. Just because people like we're going to watch the first few minutes of this video, people that are ignorant of, of, of the rules. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead. We're going to read. We're going to start out because we're going to start with the Baton Rouge mayor's proclamation. All right, let me read this to you. I, Sharon West Broom, by the authority vested in me as mayor, uh, hereby do tell that all persons over the age of two must wear some form of covering that fits snugly over their, their nose and mouth, such as the commercially made or homemade fabric mask, scarf, bandana, or handkerchief at all times while inside all commercial and nonprofit entities in the city of Paris, providing goods or services directly to the public, except when doing so poses a greater mental or physical health, so right off the top with the mental or physical health, even if it just affects you mentally, you don't have to wear the mask. Listen, folks, listen. 
with feigned words. They have made merchandise out of it. So Walmart, and we'll discuss this here in a little while. This particular Walmart's in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. My wife went to it, and I'm so very proud of her. She did such a great job. So, uh, and we're not gonna, I'm not gonna discuss what I plan to do as we move forward, but I want you to watch it. We're gonna watch a few minutes of the video together, and then we're gonna discuss it as, as we move forward. We're gonna critique and we're gonna give give praise. All right. So let's do this together. I have a medical exemption. And I was told that I could go into the store without a face mask for the medical exemption. Well, we just had this little uh, conversation with the other customer and the sisters to get the order to the shop. I would like your information because it's discrimination. Okay, so let's stop right there. Let's stop it right there. And let's let's prove this fact. In the United States and anywhere else, 1964 Civil, uh, Civil Civil Liberties Act, discrimination cannot be done on base of race, color, creed, sexual. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's all the way across across the board. Walmart or any other entity that is open to opens its doors to the public means you, you don't have to have a membership. You it just opens its door to the public. Cannot refuse service on any grounds that is called discrimination. So you have your medical exemption, you got your religious exemption, and if they do, they have accepted commercial liability. Now it is up to you when you get in the situation. Now pay attention, my wife is gonna ask for who represents Walmart. Who is in this spot, and you'll see on this lady's tag is CSM. Now I've cut some of the, the video out of here, guys, because my, my sons kept walking in front of these people. And I didn't want my sons out there. So just deal with that. It, there is a little things cut out. It's not because my wife did anything bad. It's just I don't want my son, my, my two little sons out there on YouTube land. And I will be filing a lawsuit. Okay. Okay. Well, I have an So they call in the manager because she asked for the representative. Now I'm on the phone with her at this time, guys. So the, the main manager is going to come out. Look at them not wearing a mask. Hold on. Let me stop it right there. So y'all hear the police in the background. There's a police officer behind to her right, a real police officer, a deputy for the Baton Rouge Police Department. And he is sitting here lying to my wife that Walmart is a private company. All right, folks, listen to me. Publicly traded companies are public. Companies that are government subsidized like Walmart and receive public funds are what? public companies. So anyone and everybody that accepts public funds is a public company and therefore they fall under what? Commercial law. Okay. So you can't discriminate commercial law. First off, people, let me inform you. My wife did say constitutional. Make no mistake about this. You can throw the constitution right out the window. It does you no good. Your, you, your name is not signed to that constitution. You never agreed to it. Uh, and the only only things valid is contractual law, okay? Duties, obligations, and considerations, guys. Now, commercial liability sets sets the uh, the uh, these people up that are asking you to put on a ma face mask. The only way you should ever put on a mask is if this company is willing to accept full liability for any acute or chronic health effects, and it must be in writing. So that's we'll get to that. I have everything I need. No, I may have to delete it off my phone. And if you're recording, I have to. Hey. <laughs> uh, hold on. So, look, they're going to try fear tactics, guys. Uh, so, y'all can hear me in the background train, uh, teach, uh, screaming my wife. I'm, she, I'm on the phone as she's recording. I want the one who, who represents, and that's why she got the, the representative here. Candy, she did a great job. Uh, so now we have the manager out here. 
So now the manager is going to come out here with fear tactics, okay? Let's keep watching. Gentlemen, do you know that I can press charges on you for discriminating against me? This is, yes, you are. You're not allowed to go into the store to have a mask on. See the deputy right there? Now, now I, I want to say this, too. I went looking for the deputy today. The deputy wasn't there. There was a reason why I was looking for the deputy. No public servant is supposed to have his face covered. You're, he's supposed to be identifiable. And I was going to go make him take that mask off. If that man would have been there today, I would have made him take that mask off or leave the premises. One of the two, it was going to happen. And uh, But this is this, you, if a public servant cannot be identified, he's, he, he's breaking the law. Of course, he's breaking the, uh, their codes and statutes here in Louisiana anyway of no wearing, of wearing a, a face mask in public with no permit. But that's another part of the story. Can you give me your name, please? You see my right down your name? You see my name. Your you last name. You see, no, I will not. You see two sons right there and this son's right here. You have to wear a mask when you enter the store. Okay. So now she said you have to wear a mask to enter the store. So she just discriminated against my wife, telling her that she has to endanger herself uh, and breathe carbon dioxide to enter her store. Okay. Let's just make sure we're keeping up. You're not discriminating. All these customers are wearing masks as well. You're not being discriminated against. It is unconstitutional. I do not have to put a face mask on. You do not have to shop in here either. And I will not. Okay. Uh, okay. So let's stop it right there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. Hold up. Let's stop it right there and let's get back into the chat room for just a second. All right. So let's get in the chat room. We're going to, we're going to, well, 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 listen, I'll just leave this up. Okay. So now my wife leaves. She lets me know. At this point in time, I already know we got a big issue here. So a man that doesn't know his rights has none. My wife stood up in the face of adversity, and she did an excellent job. And I'm going to tell everybody out there, if I see any negative comments, and yes, she didn't do it uh, verbatim 100%, nobody does it verbatim. It's a learning process, but she did great. She Hey, can y'all can y'all see me now? Can y'all is everything good? What happened here? All right, kick it. All right, so is everybody back in here? Okay, cool. All right, there we go. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so let, let's get the, the, the stream of thought back on. Okay, so as soon as as soon as my as soon as um as soon as my wife left the facility, I was on the phone with her and I said I'm going to start taking care of this. The first thing I did was I called the customer relations hotline on Walmart and I got in touch with a corporate corporate uh, a corporate manager and I told that corporate manager what had happened at one of his stores. And I informed that corporate manager that store manager didn't even know the difference between a religious exemption or a medical exemption or any other exemption and thought that the mandates coming by the goofy uh, mayor actually meant that uh, that 
everybody in the in the city of Baton Rouge had entered contract. And I asked that corporate manager. Of course, I've got this recorded, but it's only on my it's it's on my little medical. As a matter of fact, I'll play a little piece of it. <laughs> I've got it on. I carry a little. I, I forgot it in the truck. I carry a little voice recorder with me, guys, that I always record everything uh, with. Uh, the only problem with the phone call, you can only hear me talking. But anyway, I recorded that too. Okay, so that's step two. I, I called corporate and I, I informed him. I spoke with the guy for a long time. He in, insured me. He gave me a case number, a reference number, and I told I told him that a civil rights violation had occurred. Okay. The next thing I did, no, step number two, was I went to emailing. All right. Step number two. So y'all are getting on, getting in on step two, and we're going to watch this together. We're going to read it together. Is everybody ready? So let's go. We'll talk about everything else later. Let's get this going because I, I don't want people that just click on the beginning of the video to miss out on the most important part, because most people don't stay for the full hour. Record this, enter this recording on 7-16-2020. On this date, uh, my wife and my children were denied access into Walmart on O'Neill Lane in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. This is, a, this is the second contact that I have with uh, Walmart representatives, the first, the first being customer relations and, and uh, employee Nolan which the reference number for that conversation is 2007160926 Okay. This is the email. So let's stop right here, guys. Listen, what you're doing is you're building a case. You're putting together evidence. You're, you're linking everything together. That's all you're doing, guys. Listen, you don't have to hire a lawyer to take care of business. And a man, a man diligent in his business will sit before kings. And I promise you, the one thing that's going to always happen is litigation between lawyers suing lawyers and lawyers suing business. That's because that's how the law Lex uh, Mercatoria operates. That's how the law merchants operates. If people would just snap their heads out their butts and start using the system that is in place instead of wishing for some dream scenario of some super constitution that's going to fall out the sky and hand them their rights. That's not going to happen, folks. You're either going to get up off your butt and start fighting for them or you're just not going to have any. On this channel, we teach you how to fight for them. You just got to quit waiting on somebody else to do it. So let's continue. Now to corporate, um, to corporate that I wanted to put on the record too. Uh, and I want to read this to you because obviously I cannot send it any other way, but I want to read this and have it on um, record that I indeed did contact Walmart. Walmart and its representatives on 7-16-2020 at approximately 2.15 p.m., a civil violation of rights occur occurred with criminal implication. And let's fix that, guys. The criminal in implication, the criminal um, intent is the threat of coercion and blackmail by imposing one's will upon another, which is what the store representatives to this did. By asking my wife to breathe her own carbon dioxide. Okay, so let's stop right there. All right. Which so I want to stop right here. Listen, guys. When you see the words could, maybe, likely, should, anonymous, uh, unidentified, any of these in any of these words at the beginning of any news article, TV show, or anything else, when somebody comes up to you and says, "Hey, if you could, you could spread COVID nineteen." Hey, listen, folks, could, would, should, and all that crap isn't going to stand up in the court of law, even in their crooked courts of law. You want to know why? Because it's it's not in, in the realm of any way, shape, or form of fact. 
the unequivocal uh, equivocal fact is that a man or woman breathing their own uh, exhaust, carbon dioxide, poisons the, pl poisons the bloodstream. Here is an unequivocal fact that you can always defend yourself with, they, especially with this max deal, this mask deal. They can't force you to hurt your own body. If you're willing to kill yourself to follow some rules that don't even apply to you, You've got a problem. You've got to f find the testicular fortitude. And this this isn't about Walmart. Folks, I don't even shop at Walmart mu much. My wife was going to the Vision Center. Uh, the, the point is to show people how to handle yourselves once you get into a little issue. And watch, folks. All I did was make a phone call. All I did was write an email. And within 24 hours, I was back in this store. Now, make no mistake about that. Let's go. Let's continue on. Without a, a doubt, a threat to one's health and safety. All right. So we did that together. Natural law indicates uh, the law to which men are supposed to treat other men, while UCC and the law merchant is how commercial entities are supposed to handle business. Dishonor was entered by representatives of Walmart Mart at the O'Neill location in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Employee Takesha, customer service manager and store manager Nina, discriminated against my wife and children by not accepting the medical ex exemption of wearing a mask in public. The video and the conversation, reference number 2007160926682 with employee Nolan, are both saved and recorded on multiple devices. It's clear in the video that my wife asked for a representative of Walmart and was instead met with people who only operate in the realm of emotion and not fact. I will be making another visit to the store myself to ensure that the rights inherent in all men are being upheld and that the rights are not in danger oneself, breathing one's own carbon dioxide, which leads to hypercapnia, uh, by lowering our oxygen levels below that of 19.5% will be upheld and that Walmart and its associates uh, find a way to remain in honor. So guys, you know, this is just one of those deals that you're going to have to learn how to fight. You're just going to have to do it. And we're going to have to learn how to start taking these things in our own hands. So what am I doing here, guys? What I am doing is building a paper trail that I tried to, uh, in all ways, shape, or form, uh, it, it, I did all the corporate things that you're supposed to do. Now, if I can't, if I can't, if I can't get satisfaction this way, which I did the the video, the the recording with Nolan, guys, I have that on a voice recorder too. Unfortunately, you can't hear him. I was recording it with my voice recorder, uh, but he can't hear him. Uh, Nolan, the customer, corporate customer service relation, told me unequivocally that um, they are not supposed to be turning people away at the Walmart doors. That's why on the 20th, they will have health representatives up there so they don't accept commercial liability. Hey, guys, just start recording. Uh, I, I've gone a million places. Now, this one, this one Walmart decided to take it upon themselves to stop my wife and uh, the children from going in. Hey guys, you gotta you gotta do this correctly. Don't be afraid. Just continue f the, the fight and the struggle. Um, I'm gonna finish writing this email, and I need to go ahead and do it anyway because this is this is evidence too. Look, brown. And there's a reason, by the way, guys, if you don't know, I use the three dots, the ellipsis. Uh, I would advise people to go check out uh, the ellipsis. OK, uh, it's just a, it's just what I do. All right. Let's stop it right here. OK, so guys, so what what I don't have recorded, OK, is. I did all that stuff yesterday. Uh, that you heard my kids playing in the background and everything else. I made I made the email, sent it out. It was probably I don't know, uh, probably five thirty in the afternoon or somewhere around that time. Okay. This morning when I got up to go to work, by the time I made it to the office, I had a, a missed call. And then, matter of fact, I'll go get my phone. I want to I want to show y'all that way y'all y'all know that it's I'm not tricking you. I want to be as uh, evident, uh, 
clear as possible. Give me one second, guys. Okay, so I want to show y'all, and I'm going to show y'all right here, the incoming call at 8 o'clock this morning. I'm going to see if y'all can see that. And we were on the phone for 15 minutes and 23 seconds, and we're going to see the number right here. The number is 225-751-3505. All right, so let's go look at that. 751-3505. We're going to do this together. 225-751-3505. We're going to do a reverse number lookup. And who is it? It is the Walmart Supercenter. Okay. On O'Neill Lane, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Okay. So we got that done. Let's continue on. Okay. So at 830 in the morning, I've got a call by the, the actual store, the complete store manager, not just the manager, the, the lady Nina. It's a guy named Nate. And Nate is just freaking out. Nate's freaking out. Uh, and I informed Nate very quickly, very rapidly. I didn't, guys, I was I was in my, I was at work already. I just didn't think I was going to get a call. I didn't record it. Uh, but you're just going to take my take my word on this or not. Uh, but I, I told Nate very quickly uh, uh, what had transpired at that store and what I had on video and everything else. And Nate assured me, now what we're going to see here, I, I told Nate, that each one of the individuals involved, you saw Takesha and Nina, okay, that I was going to personally come up there and make sure that he spoke to these individuals to never cross uh, 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 cross another uh, man or woman's uh, natural rights. So uh, anyways, so here's the next part. Within 24 hours, we're back on we're back on the property. And guys, I've, I'm, I'm sorry, guys, like I told you at the beginning, I cut some of the stuff out because my kids were getting in the videos uh we'll we'll discuss this i just don't like my kids out there like that that's just one of my pet peeves um you know people may not like me people may and i don't put my wife on video neither um and we're just gonna keep it that way uh from here on out but let's 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 do this together we're, we're back at the walmart Okay, remember, my wife has just kicked out. It's been less than 24 hours. I'm back there today. I think it was about 1.45 p.m. So I had made it back over there within 23 hours. I went to work, got the phone call, told the guy what I expected. And now I'm telling him, I, I gave him directions this morning. Listen, guys, they got out of line. They are the ones who crossed into the realm of putting themselves as uh, is submitting a man to uh, involuntary slavery or servitude to go into a public place. Walmart is government subsidized. It doesn't matter. You need to learn you learn your rights. If you don't learn your rights, you don't have any. So here we go. Let's do this, guys. Lane in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, 24 hours later. Let's see if we can enter, the, enter this facility today. Uh, my wife and I are together, and with our children, we're going to go in here, and we're going to enter this facility today when we got turned around yesterday. Uh and I want to let everybody know this, too, before we start. I made my wife bring my children again for a reason. My son got very upset. He actually told my wife last night. He told my wife last night that he got he got a little worried that they were going to uh, the policemen were going to just take them away and lock up, lock him up. And I told my wife that day, she's like, well, maybe we don't need to bring him. I said, no, we do the exact, exact opposite. We're going to show them boys that when you're right. You have the might. And I'm going to say that again. When you're right, you have the might because right is in the in the Father Almighty. So we brought them again. That's why they're there. Just to know why people are asking me why I'm bringing my kids is to show them, to, to train my children that we don't fear authority. We don't fear man's authority. Come on, guys. Let's take a little walk. All right. Now, I skipped the part. Okay. Now, see, I'm here talking to Takesha. Now, guys, I'm going to I'm, I'm not going to record this whole thing while I'm talking to Takesha, and I'm going to tell you why. All I did was I walked up to Takesha, and I'm inside the store, by the way, guys. I walked up to Takesha, and at this point in time, I, I took the, and this is the most important 
part, guys. Do I want to harm those people? No. I don't want to harm Takesha. I don't want to harm Nina. These people are completely, you know, whatever you think of them or whatever else, these people have been brainwashed and indoctrinated. So I tell her in just a second, I tell my, I tell my wife to turn off the video recorder. And you know what I share with her, guys? I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to show y'all what I share with her. I take my paperwork and I share with her the OSHA paperwork. Now we'll see that. This is from OSHA. All right. OSHA states that cloth face coverings will not protect the wearer against airborne transmissionable infectious agents due to loose fit and lack of uh, an adequate infiltration are not appropriate for PPE. Okay. I show her that. And then I show her this. I show her that surgical mask will not protect the wearer against airborne transmissible infectious agents due to loose fit and lack of seal or inadequate filtration. And then I explain to her what crime is. And uh, so I t I, during that point in time, I'm not trying to hurt the people. Um, I'm trying to educate them. So let's continue on. Okay, so I tell I tell her, and I tell her, you hear me, I tell her, uh, my wife tried to tell you that she had religious and medical extensions. For some reason, I do want to state this too. Nate wouldn't come see me. The guy that I talked to, the, the store manager, I had called for him up here to this station. He wouldn't come see me. Uh, so I, I imagine because of the email and the conversation that him and I had had at 8.30 in the morning. As you could see, he wouldn't answer the phone either. I tried to call him back two or three times. I imagine that he had get, gotten advice from a corporate lawyer to no longer conversate with me. Um, and so... And he did tell you that. See, and I asked her if Nate discussed with her, and that's what she says. Yes, Nate discussed with me. Okay, so I couldn't find Nina, and we walked into the place, and I made sure the one person that I could find that was there yesterday, which was Takesha, which, which discriminated against my wife, and we walked around the whole store, okay? Um, I guess, what did I do? I guess I didn't load one of those videos up or something. Let's see. I don't know what I did. I'm such a horrible. I'm so horrible at doing things. Hold on, guys. Wait, wait one second. Let me see. What did I do? Did I not add one of the videos? And there, look. So I'm just showing y'all that I'm walking through the place. All right. I'm just showing. I walk all the way around. I'm everywhere through that place. All right. You see a mask on? Nope. All right. So let me get back over here. All right. So let me do. No, y'all didn't see that. Oh, my goodness. What am I doing? I'm sorry, guys. I'm such a goofball. Uh, let me see. Let me find the video. I'll show y'all me walking all the way through there. Was I not? Was I not showing anything just now? Am I that goofy, guys? Y'all got to let me know sometimes. I'll be a goofball, man. Hold on. Let me find it. I'm looking for it, guys. Okay, here we go. All right. That's me just prancing around the store, uh, wanting anybody to come after me and threaten me of my rights, okay? And that's when I went and found Takesha, Okay. You can see my little kids, and that's why I don't put that stuff in there, because they end up turning their heads and everything else. And uh, that's why that's why that's why I take it out. Okay, so let's 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 get focused. Let's get focused. I'm gonna pull up the chat room, and I want to talk to everybody for a minute before I start off on the songs. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. Did y'all did y'all miss me talking to Takesha? Did y'all miss me talking to, K to Keisha too? Did I did I mess that up too? Because I can I can fix that.
Yes, you did miss you did miss me talking to to Keisha. Okay, let me fix that. Let me fix that, guys. I'm sorry. I forgot I didn't have the documents up. I want y'all to see it. There's no point in hiding anything. It's very it's vitally important that we see all this stuff. Okay. Where's that video at? Where's the whole video? Um Okay, here it is. All right. I have the All right. All right. Can y'all see it now? That there is exemption for both religious and marriage, and he did tell you that. That there is exemption for both religious and marriage, and he did tell you that. Oh, that's it. All right. So let me turn that off. Okay. So there we go. Everybody got it. Okay. All right. Let's see what we got going on here. And let's do this. Let me see. Uh, no, what's going on here? Why is that? Okay. All right, there we go. Okay. All right, guys. So we want to talk about some things first. Let me pull this up. And let's do this together. All right. We're going to do this together, my friends, because this is by, this is the most important part of this. Listen, guys, if you are unaware of what makes you man and you believe the lies all around you, uh, you're not going to walk into somewhere like like uh, like you own the place. Nobody in this world can force you to do anything that you're not already willing to do. And I'm going to state that again. Nobody in this world can force you to do something you weren't already willing to do. Um, we have strength uh, that is unimaginable. And yet the whole world revolves around trying to keep us locked down and trying to, to make us feel hopeless and helpless. And I promise you guys, you take these, this little tutorial right here. You learn to get, you learn to uh, focus your energy and focus your mind on Ex someone accepting liability. Listen, if somebody wants you to injure yourself, that means they're accepting liability. Why are you not making them ex take it? All right. Let's do this. Proverbs 28 1. The wicked flee when no man pursueth, but the righteous are as bold as a lion. Evil men understand not judgment, but they that seek the uh, Yahuwah understand all things. And see, folks, guys, you know, those people are ignorant. They don't know. They're Nessian, shall I say, uh, the Takesha and all them other people in there. But I don't want to hurt those people. I know they're just indoctrinated. But at the same time, I cannot allow these people, uh, these men and women, to stop me in the pursuit of my life, my liberty, and my property. And, and make no mistake, guys, when you become aware of that system of thought, what is property? Okay, define that. I, I, I tell everybody, please go read Frederick Bastot's The Law and please go read Lysander Spooner's No Treason. And once you understand property and then you understand liability of property, you'll start understanding commercial law and then contract law is based on uh, consideration, uh, an agreement, which makes the obligation. So all, all mandatory mandates, orders, wishes, and everything else that these companies and these lawyers and these things are talking about are contractual terms. Well, the only way you can be bound to contract is if you signed it with somebody. And even then, even if you sign to, uh, to somebody, an immoral consideration is what? Null and void. And that's contract law. Let's go do that together. Well, together. Let's go over here. Let's do, where's the big one? Where's my big one? Oh, come on. What happened to it? Oh, let's do, there it goes. No action arises 
out of an immoral consideration. No action arises on an immoral contract. So it is up to you. It is imperative to you to always show immorality. Listen, folks, I don't give a crap. And that's what I told the, the guy I talked on the phone. I don't give a crap if the whole world went full retard. It doesn't bother me at all. One thing that I know, and I'm, and it's just self-evident, is that I'm not supposed to breathe my exhaust. It's just that simple. So why would I do it? Unless somebody, and this is another key too, unless somebody was going to accept the liability for not only the acute, but the chronic health effects. Okay. So let's get back to the chat room and get back to, uh, well, let's do that. Let me finish this. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall, shall be an abomination. Hey, man, remember last week when I showed you why is a serpent harmless as doves? We're supposed to be a spiritual beings, but wise as the serpent. We are supposed to be wise as the serpents. So that means that the reason that I put the, um, let's go over here. The reason why I put the thumbnail, which was uh, Albert Einstein's quote. Um, that, was that was in the commercial, wasn't it? Yeah, but anyway, the Albert Einstein quote uh, was because you got to do, not just say. To, and here we go. This is the truth. To have respect a person is not good. For a piece of bread, that man will tra transgress. We don't respect corporations. We don't expect uh, agents acting in the place. We're going to go straight to the principal. I gave notice to the principal and I gave notice to the agent. That's why we ask for the representatives that are going to represent themselves as that corporate fiction. Listen, guys, listen, guys, I don't care what they do, but they're not going to hinder me in my pursuit of my life, liberty and property. OK, so now that we've got that done with, let's do where it comes from. All right. Their rules of procedure are their rules of procedure. They're the ones who make all these laws up. I mean, my life would be simple. Do no harm. Give every man his due. And you know, uh, what was, what's the other one? There's three of them. Do no harm. Give every man his due and live honestly. P plain and simple. That that's, 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 that's just it. Uh, it's the golden rule. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. You know, um, these ideas are simple, but they have all the rules. So they've got to follow. They got to follow. them. All right. You, you go read these things and you'll find out that it's impossible for a public company. Come here. Let me let me go. Let me go read this to you guys. Let's read this together. Title six, 42 United States Code, 2000 D. It's sequential was enacted as part of the landmark Civil Rights Act of 1964. It prohibits discrimination on the basis of race, color, national origin and programs and activities receiving financial assistance. All right, guys. So it's very simple. Walmart government subsidies. And you can go look at the billions and billions that Walmart, Walmart gets every single company in this country that took a payroll, uh, uh, paycheck deal from the government during the coronavirus is now what, guys? They are public. Every doggone one of them. I don't care if it's operated out of a, anything. If they took, if they took funds, they're they're no longer they're no longer private. Okay, so let's finish this. Simple justice requires that public funds to which all taxpayers of all races, colors, and national origins contribute not be spent in any fashion which encourages, entrenches, subsidizes, or results in racial, color, or natural or, or natural uh, national uh, origin discrimination. If a recipient of federal assistance is found to have been discriminated and voluntary compliance, compliance cannot be achieved, the federal agency providing this assistance should either initiate fund termination proceedings or refer the matter to the uh, Department of Justice for appropriate legal action. So, guys, the purpose of this is that voluntary compliance. Listen, listen to me, guys. It's just like this lady right here for the mayor of Baton Rouge. All right. This is, let's do this. We're going to read this together again. This lay, this mayor of Baton Rouge, she 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 knew not to accept commercial liability. She can't help that the rest of the masses don't read. 
anybody that tells me that they don't read, they they don't want to know. Uh, if you don't read, you're never going to uh, be able to defeat this 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 enemy. And we are we're called to defeat him. All right, so let's get into the chat and start asking some questions. All right, guys. Yes, uh, anything, anything. Hey, born again, you sure did, brother. I'm going to, I'm going to, it'd be important probably to watch it again. Hey, guys, this is win number two for this channel. Uh, it's a small win, but it's a win. Uh, armored up, you're going to have to go look at your governor's or your mayor's uh, executive orders or proclamations. Just go, go Google them. You're going to have to find the first one that they did in each successive one. And what you're going to find is that each one of them are going to have their own little lawyer speak, and you got to th think through it. Hey, born again, hold on. Why aren't you a uh, – hold on. Why aren't you a uh, moderator? Hey Francis, that's that's right. Here, let me do this. Let me do. How can I do that? Oh, I don't even know how. Hold on, guys. Give me. Let me catch up. All right. All right. So listen, uh, ethereal phenotype. Uh, let me let me do this. Um, yeah. Let me let me tell you what you do do for your Walmart employer. No employer can discriminate on the grounds. It's an equal opportunity employer, right? You go give notice. What you're, what I've done so far is give notice. I've gave notice uh, to Walmart on all grounds that they have violated. All right. So you get, you go read your EEO. All right. Your non-discrimination deal. Uh, they can't discriminate on. On not, you have the 1974 Privacy Act. You have the 1972 Disabilities Act. You have the 1964 Civil Liberties Act, which which means that you can't uh, uh, or a religious. And then you have then you have the inherent. And this is this is this is this is the most important part. You have the inherent creator given right not to harm yourself. And if somebody harms yourself, you, you want you to harm yourself. They got to put it in writing. OK, uh, there's ways to protect yourself and go about this. What I showed you was a way to stay in honor to build the paper trail. Now, Brandon has the upper hand. Brandon's family has the upper hand. That is the way you do it. Don't go up there and blow off like a pop mountaintop and go crazy. I am very proud of my wife. Now, guys, let me let me discuss this with anybody out there. My wife's only 105 pounds, 110 pounds most. She did the best I could ever hope for, uh, standing in the face of adversity. I'm very proud of her, and this is gonna this is gonna help us grow together. Okay. I'm sorry, Rachel. Tell me, tell me when to back up. It is a win, Eve. Eva. Hey, by the way, love to see you. Uh, it is a win. This is a big win for me and my family. It's a huge win, and it's uh, it's one of those great deals. Hey, listen, guys. Listen, there's not many times I get excited. Let me tell you something. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. You can add. You will add when we have the uh, study next time. I was literally running around in the shop this morning at work, fired up, baby. I mean, fired up. I got. I you know, it, I knew what how the day was gonna transpire, and it's something funny, guys. When that spirit, when that great spirit is with you, you feel like you're 150 foot tall, man. I bust up in that place like who wants some? You know. <laughs> hey, it, it, but. It's the win. It's the feeling of being righteous, man. And this is where where it goes. This is the, the, where our strength comes from. And man, it, it's awesome. It is awesome. Okay, guys, listen. Every one of you asking questions about the laws, uh, can you I, t help me identify? I'm gonna slow down and quit talking. Uh, tell me what you what you need me to go over again, and we'll go over it. Rosette, I would, I would go, I would look into each and every store uh, in your area. Find out if one, if they took the public payroll uh, assistance, if they took 
any government assistance whatsoever. If they've ever taken government assistance, they are now a public company. Um, I would always uh, find out. And then, then on, 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 listen, no one in this world, guys, has the right to ask you to harm yourself. Nobody. Nobody. I mean, absolutely nobody. Just make, make no mistake about that. Check on that, Rosette. Uh, pull, pull up each one like Costco. I mean, that's what I did. That's what I, the first thing I started doing on, on Walmart uh, last night when I had the issue with them, start pulling up all the information uh, that I had. Well, I'm glad for you to, uh, to learn something. Uh, and hey guys, listen, listen, uh, let me, let me do this. Let me make sure. Let me go ahead and do this. It should be all publicly traded information, Rosette. You should find, be able to find all this stuff by, by simple Google searches. I'm sure you can, you, you'll find it. Uh, you just got to dig sometimes. Now, so let me, let me read this scripture to y'all guys. Cause this is, this is, this is something that, uh, that I let me let me always uh, calm myself back down. Uh, so let's do this. Let's do this together. Have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that he that hath seen me has seen the Father. And how sayest thou then? Show us the Father. Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself. But the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. Hey, man, there's no way this simple. Um, yes, Vega, man, uh, but, but, but way past uh, Admiralty Law yet. Yeah, I did that years ago. Um, but here's the key, guys. And, and the most important thing, you know, I know what great spirit dwells in me now. And not not no man, not no army, not no president, not anyone in this world can take that away from me ever again. Uh, I, I'm no longer alone. I'm no uh, no longer uh, hopeless, helpless, or anything else. Uh, I don't worry about 5G. I don't worry about. I'm telling you guys. I'm telling you right now. Uh, the change that has happened within here in this temple. I don't worry about the stuff. I don't sit here. You don't see me running around on my channel talking about the end is nigh. Maranatha, Maranatha. No, there ain't no way it's going down on this channel because I know the power that's been endued in us and that we are overcomers and winners. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father in me, in me or, or else believe me for the very work's sake. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I shall do, uh, that I do shall he do also and greater works than these shall he do because I go unto my father and whatsoever you shall ask in my name that will I do that the father be glorified in the son if you shall ask anything in my name I will do it and it is it is vitally important to have that faith of a mustard seed guys and move that mountain move that mountain I'm unorthodox I'm different than most anybody on YouTube I do I, I, I beat to the my own little drum but make no mistake, I am very excited to, to come uh, put, putting these things out here. And everybody out there can start putting into motion these ideas. I've, sh I've shown people how to beat the IRS already. I've already shown, now we're showing people how to use commercial liability. And man, hey guys, we, this is, this is, we can do this. Uh, we don't have to feel hopeless. We don't have to feel powerless. We don't have to feel helpless. Hey, Jennifer. Hey, let's, let's give everybody a, a shout out. Hey, uh, Peppermint Patty, armchair, uh, armchair quarterback. Let me get back over here. Oh, guys, I, guys, I did it again. I didn't share the, I didn't share the screen with you, did I? Huh? I do it all the time. I got to slow down sometimes. Yeah. Slow down. Uh, let's go back over here and let's tell everybody hello. Hey, Highland Viking, Brother Clint. I see you, Southern Buck, Born Again Brett. Uh, Born Again Veteran, uh, Eva Sumter, Kathleen McCarthy, Marcy T, Jason Rogers, Chris Nunya, Grace by Faith, Waters Above, Mary Smith of Aaron C. 
Hey, Jennifer. Oh, come on. It's going a little fit. Janice, Robert Francis, Enoch Hayes. Hey, hey Enoch. Hey, guys. I love y'all's uh, y'all's music, guys. I really do. Uh, Christina Red Letters, Lynn Grin. Oh, whoa. Hold on. Let me let me slow it down. Let me slow it down. Let me get back up here. Rachel Jacobs, Lee64, uh, Marlon Brando from Fermuda, Off Grid John, Rachel Magnetic Resonance. Uh, Phil Maltese comforter, and I saw I saw uh, symbology, Vega Vant, um, Holly Holt, Miss Texas. Uh, so, um, guys, I saw Richie and Mark of Melbourne in here earlier. Guys, I, if I don't see y'all again, hey, hey, Jesus freak, uh, hey guys, yes, this this is gonna this is gonna go up. Hey guys, and share it whoever with the, with whoever you want to share it with. I don't care, man. This stuff is this stuff is this stuff is free. Um, the most important thing is to make this guys, for those of you that, that believe it, that for those, those, those out there with family members that think they're doing the right thing by masking up, that there's a law out there, man. Hey guys, show them this, show them that there's no law and it's men and women committing crimes against each other. Hey, Kurt Bunch. Hey, Claire. And, um. <laughs> well, I don't. Hey, listen. Hey, let, uh, you, now come on, Mark. Yeah, you don't want to do that. We got to run out to the woods and eat us some MREs. There's no winning. <laughs> and I'm just joking. Hey, guys, he just didn't understand what I was talking about. The, the things I was talking about were. Uh, they're spiritual strength things, man. It's going to be okay. We're going to keep praying for our brother Richie and that he gets it one day. Uh, hey, Lacey, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Uh, well, yeah, Jesus Freak, let's talk about that. See, this is a very, very important. I get what you're saying. Uh, so how did I do that? There we go. So what I did, Jesus, uh, is, and listen, guys, this is, this is, this is, this is vitally important that you do this, guys. Guys, start do you some printouts. All right. So I have the mayor's mayor's proclamation. All right. I've got the real effects of carbon dioxide poisoning. All right. The real effects of carbon dioxide poisoning. And then I have with me at all times the OSHA. From OSHA, you see it right there, Occupational Safety and Health Administration. Even OSHA from the federal government says they're not taking any liability for anybody saying cloth face coverings work. All right. And this is just the beginning of them. This is this is stuff that even uh, even the most uh, brain dead can possibly take and, and learn from. And this is what I carry with me, guys. I print these out at work, and sometimes I got... I, you know, I just print them out and, and I walk around and I try to get people to see even the people that that block my wife. I try to get them to understand. And it is hypercapnia. That's right. Uh, here. Just type in. Um, hold on. I'll show you. I'll show you. All right. Uh, here. Look, it's even on the COVID-19 frequently asked questions. They're already protecting themselves, folks. We're going to do this together. Look, let, let Brandon show you. Guys, you got to figure out how to do this stuff. It's, it's everywhere. Listen, click the uh, cloth uh, face deals and then just go press right here. Listen, watch, watch this. Watch this. What are the key differences between... Look at this. Boom. There it is. Boom. There it is. Let's go down here to surgical mask. Boom. There it is. All right. 
and we got to learn our law language should be placed on sick individuals to prevent the tra transmission of respiratory infections. Should doesn't mean anything. Should means you sh maybe you want to, maybe you don't want to. Shall means in the future. Uh, I'll try to get that, that thing. Um, so guys, I'll put this in this. Hold on. Let me drop that in there so y'all can do that. I can do that. Yes. Hey, I, I, Forrest Gump, that's that's true. It is so true. Uh, but what you have to do is you have to take back your mind. Plain and simple, guys. I mean this with all, all my all my heart, mind, and soul. You got to take back in here. Hey, man, that's, that's where the enemy set up camp. And, man, he's walking through uh, the temple of the Father. And, man, he has fear. He has guilt. He has shame. He has doubt. He has worries. He's worried about the rapture tomorrow. He's worried about all kind of crap. Sufficient today is the evil thereof, my friends. Don't take no thought for tomorrow. Worry about today. Be the best you can be today. And then if you fall short, uh, know that you're gonna go, you're gonna pray at night and you're gonna wake up with a new attitude the next day to be better. Hey, did I miss Brother uh, Mark? Hey, Brother Mark, you got to give me a holler one day and let me know how you're doing. I have not heard from you in a while. Uh, and you know who I'm talking to. Uh, Robert, they got. I'm going to tell you right now. You're going to have to do the same thing. You're going to have to find out who's blocking you from doing something and then make make some, make some them aware. You always got to escalate it above. Listen, once you get to the corporate lawyer la level, the lawyers know. The lawyers are well aware of the double speak being used. All right, guys. Well, there's two of them. Uh, hold on. Let me, let me answer that. I saw that. Where, where'd he go? Hey, brother Chad. Hey. Hey, brother Chad. Uh, there's two. Forrest Gump, there's, there, there's the Postal Service, which is the corporation, and the post office is the real post office. That's how you send uh, three-cent stamps, by the way. There's two, there's two entities there. Hey, brother Frank. You've been a great help to me. Uh, just, just know. Uh, your, your, your comments always, uh, imprint in my mind what I, uh, what I've been thinking. I've always loved your comments, brother. And I've, I loved your fellowship. Oh, that m brother Mark, uh, send me another email. I must've missed it. I'm guys. I get so many emails now. Just deal with me. All right, guys. So we've got we've got a we've got an hour here. I don't want people to be scared of this this study group, um, and I'm probably going to rip the first thirty minutes and just make it a video. Uh, I'll think about that. I'm going to pray about it. Um, but guys, thank y'all for coming. Hey, look, listen, guys. Uh, share it to whoever put it on your channel. I don't, I don't. I don't care. The point is to show people that that we don't have to live in the, have the spirit of fear, but the power of love and a sound mind. Thank each and every one of you for coming. I, I love all the support. I'm so thankful. Uh, our family's thankful for it. And know that we love y'all guys. Uh, hey, dear Father, uh, continue to bless us. Continue to uh, get uh, garner our strength. And let us not have the spirit of fear. And uh, fear no condemnation from just mere men. And uh, let us not be conformed to this world, but let us be transformed by the renewing of our mind into that perfect, acceptable will of the Father. And, uh, you know, we're just going to keep calling on you, Father. Let the sea continue to fall on good ground And uh, in your precious son's name. Hey, guys, you know, I'm just uh, over, overly excited. Uh, I feel so blessed. Uh, and I'm going to tell you, this truth has really emboldened me. Uh, there was a time I had to, listen, I want to tell this too before I go. I had to break through my fear, just like every one of you. Don't make no mistake, there was a time when Brandon was writing his IRS stuff, 
Uh, when Brandon was walking into meetings and telling people that he wasn't going to bow down, when Brandon walks into uh, something, there's a time where I, where I was fearing. The only time you break your fear is when you face it. With that, folks, I love you. Y'all have a wonderful weekend, and we'll see y'all sometime next week. I love you all. See, how do you do this thing?